Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this Thursday morning prayer where we commemorate Ephraim the Syrian, um, who is an early Christian theologian and a hymn writer, and especially important in the East Syriac tradition in the Eastern Orthodox Church. Um, and he was born and lived in the fourth century um, and wrote many hymns that, in fact, still made it into our hymn books today. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. O oh God. Let our mouth proclaim your praise. And your glory all the day long. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let's read together the Venite. Come, Come let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands have molded the dry land. Come let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hands. Oh, that today you would hearken to its voice. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Abraham was the great father of a multitude of nations, and no one has been found like him in glory. He kept the law of the Most High and entered into a covenant with him. He certified the covenant in his flesh, and when he was tested, he proved faithful. Therefore, the Lord assured him with an oath that the nations would be blessed through his offspring that he would make him as numerous as the dust of the earth and exalt his offspring like the stars and give them an inheritance from the sea to sea and from the Euphrates to the ends of the earth. To Isaac also, he gave the same assurance for the sake of his father, Abraham, the blessing of all people and the covenant he made to rest on the head of Jacob. He acknowledged with him with his blessings and gave him his inheritance. He divided his portions and distributed them among the 12 tribes. From his descendants, the Lord brought forth a godly man who found favor in the sight of all and was beloved by God and people, Moses, whose memory is blessed. He made him equal in glory to the holy ones and made him great to the terror of his enemies. By his words, he performed swift miracles. The Lord glorified him in the presence of kings. He gave him commandments for his people and revealed to him his glory. For his faithfulness and meekness, he consecrated him, choosing him out of all humankind. He allowed him to hear his voice and led him into the dark cloud and gave him the commandments face to face, the law of life, and knowledge, so that he might teach Jacob the covenant and Israel his decrees, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my crag and my stronghold. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked. 
from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb, you have been my strength. My praise shall be always of you. I've become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him. Go after him and seize him, because there is none who will save. O oh God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O oh my God. Let those who set themselves against me be put to shame and be disgraced. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait in patience and shall praise you more and more. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts and saving deeds all day long, though I cannot know the number of them. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, you've taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. And now that I am old and gray-headed, O oh God, do not forsake me till I make known your strength to this generation and your power to all who are to come. Your righteousness, O oh God, reaches to the heavens. You have done great things. Who is like you, O oh God? You have showed me great troubles and adversities, but you will restore my life and bring me up again from the deep places of the earth. You strengthen me more and more. You enfold and comfort me. Therefore, I will praise you upon the lyre for your faithfulness, O oh my God. I will sing to you with the harp, O oh Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing with joy when I play to you. And so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness all day long for they are ashamed and disgraced who sought to do me harm. A reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. It is necessary to boast. Nothing is to be gained by it. But I will go to, to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a person in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up in the third heaven, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. And I know that such a person, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows, was caught up into paradise and heard things that are not to be told, that no mortal is permitted to repeat. On behalf of such a one, I will boast. But on my own behalf, I will not boast except of my weakness. But if I wish to boast, I will not be a fool, for I will be speaking the truth, but I refrain from it, so that no one may think better of me than what is seen in me or heard from me, even considering the exceptional character of the revelations. Therefore, to me, to keep me from being too elated, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I appealed to the Lord about this, that it would, that it would leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. So I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Therefore, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities for the sake of Christ. For whenever I am weak, then I am strong. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near you and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. After he had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. When he had come near Bethphage and Bethany, at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of the disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Just say this, the Lord needs it. So those who were sent departed and found it as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, why are you untying the colt? They said, the Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus and after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. As he rode along, people kept spreading their cloaks on the road. As he was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power that they had seen, saying, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, teacher, order your disciples to stop. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Hear our cry, O God. And listen to our prayer. <clears throat> Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day of bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, power and the glory forever and forever. ever. Amen. Amen. Hello, everyone. Amen. Help us, O God, our Savior. Deliver us and forgive us our sins. Look upon your congregation. Give to your people the blessing of peace. Declare your glory among the nations and your wonders among all peoples. Do not let the oppressed be shamed and turned away. Never forget the lives of your poor. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you. And your favor to those who are true of heart. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning. So shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. I invite your prayers. I ask your prayers for my friend's daughter who's having a very serious um, mental and psychological issues. May she be blessed with a sense of healing and peace and may her family feel that she is safe. Lord, in your mercy. Prayer. I offer prayers of thanksgiving today for my dad's 87th birthday, that he would continue in good health and enjoy thoroughly his remaining days. And I also offer a prayer of thanksgiving for our niece, Raina, who will be graduating from eighth grade today and going to high school next year. Yikes. Um, for the blessing that she is to our family. Uh, I give great thanks for both my dad and for Raina in my life. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to thanks God. Thanks be to God. I have a prayer of thanksgiving for a, a last minute surgery and successful outcome for my friend Lawrence. Um, and that he may quickly be back home with his kids and um, recover. Um, let us bless the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. I pray that <clears throat> the vaccination effort taking place in the United States may um, quickly be successful um, among those who are hesitant to receive the vaccine and that many of the vaccines who have a, a specific expiration date can be used before they are wasted. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. I give prayers of thanksgiving for our niece, Natalie, who will celebrate her graduation from high school tomorrow, that she will begin this new chapter of her life and begin college uh, knowing God's love and the love of her family. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I offer a prayer for all those in our parish who are sick, and who are seeking, and, and I especially pray for us as a community and that we may hear each other and find each other as we move forward. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. I give thanks that Father Sam has found um, a new parish and that his uh, ministry there will be blessed with um, much success. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. And thanks be to God. Bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And And also with you. Let us pray. Pour out upon us, O Lord, that same spirit by which your deacon Ephraim declared the mysteries of faith in sacred song. And so gladden our hearts that we, like him, might proclaim the riches of your glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Mary Alcun, would you read the prayer for people critically ill? I'd be happy to. God of the present moment, who in Jesus stills the storm and soothes the frantic heart, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. Bring them courage to endure what cannot be avoided, for your will is health and wholeness. You are God, and we need you. Amen. Let's pray together the prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and our traditions as may be as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. May the God of hope fill us with joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so Ephraim was